As always, hi and welcome aboard Lady Lieselot. <laughs> well, as you can see, I am still in Ramsgate at the moment. And uh, we are enjoying some wind, so let me find protection. And whilst being here, I want to um, tell you something about my plans. The moment that, uh, that I bought Lady Lieselot, I was a very, very happy man. And through the years that I live on board of Lady Lieselot, I also found out that I am a happy man the moment then the, that the sun is shining. And perhaps you are with me on that. So uh, once there was a moment that I decided I will leave the Netherlands and I want to live on a spot, on a place where the sun always shines. Hmm. Well, and I want to use Lady Lieselot for that situation. I want to be stay the liveaboard that I am. But is the boat capable to sail on the ocean? Is the crew capable to sail on the ocean? Well, that's a big question. So, the moment that I have decided I want to live on a spot where the sun always shines, not specific a uh, spot or a uh, country, just a place where the sun always shines. I want to test out if the boat is capable to do so and if I am capable to do so and what to do to get there. So that is the reason why so now and then we'll go to sea. And for now I went to Blankenburg via sea and from Blankenburg I went to Ramsgate where we are now. I wanted to go to London but then I saw in the Windfinder app that the weather would decrease during the days further on in the week. And I thought, well, that is no fun to uh, be in London in high winds and on the Thames with a, a high current, etc, etc. You know what I will do? I will return to Blankenburg. So I did. Well, in this video I will show you what happened and uh, what the reason is why I am still in Ramsgate. Wanna join? Hmm. Okay, uh, the rear camera, port camera and starboard camera all recording. Ramsgate uh, port control, Lady Lieselot is uh, about to leave in uh, 20 seconds. Thank you very much. have to pay attention to the sailing yacht of course but luckily enough I have enough room I have to uh, do several things at the same time. Yeah. Okay. Okay, let's float a little. To uh, turn on the dime. I heard somebody was inbound. And off we go. 
heading for C in three, two, one, zero. Changing camera positions. And there is the pilot. Just a quick wave, a polite wave. Okay, red to green over there. So, 1650 RPMs on both engines. And off we go. Speed over ground, 13 kilometers per hour. Okay, update. Um, I am approximately um, one hour and a half at sea right now. I have a problem with my uh, port throttle. Um, the whole uh, unit stopped, so engines went back to uh, idle, 650 RPM at sea. And then it seemed that the, the porthole in the uh, engine room was gone open had opened and uh, because the boat moves that much there was a lot of water um, uh, into the engine uh, room via the porthole oh man the weather itself is not that bad but the sea state is uh, we talk about um, uh, 30 m m meters of depth at the moment, a uh, southwesterly 24, I heard on uh, VHF 16. But the sea state is, uh, because of the course I have to steer, uh, over there we have the traffic lane, and I have to get to the traffic lane a little bit more, and then I have to cross it in a 90 degrees angle. So, I think that if you are at sea, in this situation with a sailing boat, you would think, well, she moves. Well, Lady L Lisa Lot does move, but um, yeah, half an hour ago I thought, well, perhaps I must change my um, my plans and go to uh, Queensboro anyway, or and then to London because if this is 24 knots of wind. But then, um, no, I have sent uh, a voyage plan to the Cubs Border uh, Border uh, Patrol Border uh, Force, and uh, I will stick to my plan to go to uh, Blankenburg again. Uh, the unit now only has a problem on the port engine, probably because of the enormous amount of water came in. My bilge pump works very fine, by the way, so. I am now only um, using the starboard engine. We have a speed of 12.78 kilometers per hour at 7, 1750 RPMs. So, what did I do to close the porthole? The um, screws broke. So, um, I grabbed a piece of plywood that I uh, always have with me. I have a couple of those on board. I grab some screws, a wood clamp. So I uh, took the plywood, screwed it under the porthole, grabbed a, 
other part of wood and the uh, clamp and I clamped that wood against the new plywood and the porthole so that the porthole is closed now and that all in this C state I still am at the safe zone I am not in the danger zone but uh, yeah, nevertheless man what a terrible sea state Let's have a look if I change course a little bit. What does that bring? But yeah, then I, I have to cross the um, the, the traffic zone in a 90 degrees and then it is almost completely. Yeah, engine dies. Okay, let's see if it works again. Yeah, both engines. Oh, I have to start that one. Yeah, let's try and push it. Shaky. I was thinking about sending out a uh, security uh, message, but there's no other boat in the neighborhood, so there's no harm. Okay, off we go. Back to our. Um, Ah, again! Oh my goodness! Have a look what the waves done. Uh, the, oh man! Have a look what the waves do. I have to steer manually because the autopilot is having problems with it. Everything in the boat makes a sound. Zing. I'm really pissed. But yeah, what can you do about it? You have to continue. You have to move on. Well, and uh, within uh, 15 hours you uh, talk different talk. Who cares? Oh, 
you feel the wave push the stern and then thrown away. Okay, we will do a test. Uh, engines in idle. I have to go that way, by the way. So, when the boat has no speed, hardly no speed, 8 kilometers, 7, okay. It almost, it almost feels as if you heave to on a sailboat. What a presence, what a silence, what a pleasant place to be. Error for my throttles. So the, I will control alt delete reset them. So the moment that there is hardly any speed, no speed. All right. I know. And then the wind pushes the stern of Lady Lisa Lot further on and that is not good because I have to go that way and now we have the the waves aside be careful be careful be careful be careful high waves okay Again, problems with the throttle. Oh, man. Okay, I am at the traffic lane and crossing it, but I would, I must cross it in an angle that is impossible for me under the circumstances at the sea state right now. I tried it off camera. Oh man, I healed over 30%. I do now heal over 30%. Well, you have shit, man. You have heard this story before. What a mess! What a mess! What a mess! And I cannot return because, yeah, uh, I'm already four hours on the way. Jeez. What is going on over here? Man! <sighs> you are nuts? Yes, I am. One would almost say this boat is not easy to handle with uh, waves astern. Really? And you did not know that. Yeah, but yeah. I have to go home. You have left your course, I know. On purpose this time. I steer 12 degrees starboard. 
and it takes 10 to 15 seconds before she reacts in this uh, C state. Well, I paused the video because you have heard my stories over and over and over again now by now. It's enough. Security, security, security. Motor vessel Lady Liselot. 51 degrees, 81 decimals. O uh, north, 2 degrees, 1 decimal uh, east. Is in the traffic zone and due to bad weather conditions, not able to maneuver very fast. Please be aware of me. Yeah, there's someone behind me. Sometimes he isn't, sometimes he is not. So that is the reason for my security uh, call. Man. 30 knots of wind. This is really bad. I am returning to gateway. I am sorry. I'm returning to Ramsgate because I am not able to sail uh, with these waves astern. can keep this course I will get to Ramsgate for sure but that uh, vessel is uh, five kilometers behind me security 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 motor vessel Lady Liselot is in the traffic zone 51 degrees 80 28 decimal north, two degrees, one decimal east. Please keep, keep clear, uh, maneuvering is difficult. I really feel uh, like ass, so I will not uh, talk. Permission to enter. I think I have been here before. It feels that way. You have permission to dock your boat wherever it fits, sir, she said, off camera. Okay then. I can handle that.
Oh. Well, do I need anything to say? No. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you liked it. I did not.